jobs that Dave has a good fucking show. Praise the Lord of patriarchy for giving you this good show. Give him money, give him shit, for the Lord gives a good show. Uh, welcome! Got a good show for you today. Got a damn good show for you today! All right, let's start with this short. This is from Caleb Hammer. Uh, I'm sure most of you know who he is. Um, he, um, he does the financial audit show anyway. This is what he says. Okay, can I please ask a question? What the fuck is with all the uh, able-bodied men not wanting to work or not getting a job? How are you not driven insane? If, if, if The times of my life that I've been laid off, I've never been fired, but I've been laid off a couple times. After about a month, I'm going batshit nuts. Working sucks, though. I don't like to work. Well, you're going to have to work, my dear. Unless you lose about a hundred pounds and get surgery, because you ain't getting a trophy, husband. All right, let's get to the request, because this person said that uh, I would need about a six-pack to get through this. And he paid me ten bucks, which is, yeah, the amount required for a 30-minute video. All right, this is Hannah Cox. Should we care about the male loneliness epidemic? Well, yes, you should, because eventually at some point, the lonely males are going to start shooting or they're not going to show up to work. In which case, in which case, women's world comes crashing to a halt. Because sorry, ladies, men still build, run, and maintain society. Point blank, period. The past couple... Hold on. What What the fuck did this fucking twat say? Hey, guys. I'm Hannah Cox with Base Politics, and you're watching my show, Histrionics, where every week we talk about women's issues from a centrist point of view. The male... Women's issues from a centrist point of view. Why do I think she's far left? Because any centrist these days is considered right wing. I have often said I'm a centrist, but now everyone says that I'm right wing. Even though my politics really haven't changed. Hey women, there is an underlying accusation in these headlines that women have caused the problem and therefore need to help solve it. But uh, it yes, women have caused the male loneliness epidemic because women's standards are ridiculously high. And women, when they do hook up with a top, I'll say 5% male, more often than not are fine sharing said man. Meaning they know they're not the only one. They just want to be the alpha bitch. But in response, a growing number of women are pushing back, claiming that men have brought the situation on themselves and... If they're such great, big, strong leaders, then, well, shouldn't they be able to solve this epidemic on their own? In really? previous decades, before we achieved a- Really? Really? I make good money. But a lot of women will disqualify me over my weight, which I can control. It's my fault I'm fat. But the other big one is my height, which I cannot. I'm five foot six or five foot seven. I don't know. I should actually measure myself. Okay, outside of a very painful surgery, I can't control that. Yet they disqualify me. Yet if I say, yeah, I don't want fat chicks, I'm suddenly a sexist pig. Or, yeah, I prefer younger women over older women, I'm suddenly a sexist pig. And women's standards have gotten to ridiculous to the point of, I, it, it's kind of just fun to mock them. 
You'll literally have a woman who's 250 pounds overweight demanding a $500,000 wedding, a $500,000 ring, and a man that makes eight figures. And it's like chubby bubby. What the? You ain't getting that. Quality between the sexes in the West, women were often forced to marry to have access to basic resources. That means that many men who were undeserving of wives or children got them anyways due to the death. Yeah, except now all that shit is turning against you and you have a bunch of TikToks and Instagram posts and YouTube videos of older women bawling their eyes out because they're alone. Again, men can handle solitude. Women can't. As for women being undeserving and not being able to create their own resources, bullshit! There have always been women in the workforce. It's just a lot of them chose to be a stay-at-home mom. And instead work on making the home better. It's not like we had laws against women entering whatever fucking field they wanted to. At least not for probably over a century. But here's the real sad thing. You women still don't want to be equal participants in men in society. I don't see a lot of ladies wanting to become roofers. No, what happened was is Instagram came along and even a five can attract a male tens attention if it's for sex only. Yeah, but roofers make a shit ton of money. That's why they do the job, Iron Gullet. The money. But women instead of making money, would prefer the air-conditioned office job that pays jack and shit. And plus, I can't tell you how many of these fucking chicks I've seen rate themselves a 10. And it's like, do you know what a fucking 10 is? A 10 is like you look at her and go, my God, her for her wrists are beautiful okay that is a 10 I, I i've seen women rate rate themselves a 10 and i'm sitting there as a straight man going okay seven seven six eight seven six five are usually working full-time these days good let's deport the illegal immigrants hire american citizens and they can get paid the roofing wages they should be paid Congratulations, we agree, Iron Gullet. And, and then why were women happier in the 50s when this patriarchal pay structure was in full effect? And why are they miserable now, now that you feminists have gotten every goddamn thing you want? Just not for nothing. Why were why why was our grandmother's generation happier than the bitches right now the number one consumer and it's by a country mile of antidepressant narcotics is women well both my grandmas were happy they were perfectly happy cooking meals for their husband sons grandsons great grandsons it has been a very heavy couple of weeks in the media for women. There have honestly been too many horrific stories of violence against women for me to possibly even cover on this show over the past month alone. You when, had the when the fuck did she make this three weeks ago? Where was this epidemic of violence against women? I was alive three weeks ago. I seem to have missed it. What, men saying shit you don't want to hear? Trial against Dominique Pellicott, who is the man who drugged his wife and set up encounters for dozens of men to rape her and give her STDs over the- Okay, and that was an evil thing to do, I agree, but that's a criminal matter.
Not all the perfectly loving husbands that just want their wives to raise the kids and keep the home. Men of Afghanistan who are no longer allowed to even laugh or speak or sing in public or seek an education. Okay, um, I'm assuming because you're a leftist, you're not pro-Israel. You want the Taliban stopped? Israel's your answer. There's also been a rise in anti-women rhetoric on the right in the U.S., which I've covered extensively here. There's been growing attacks. Like what? On women who don't have kids by prominent GOP. Oh, Jesus Christ, he made a joke, but he does have a point. Kamala is a childless cat lady, so she doesn't give a fuck if she starts World War III, which we are as close to as we've ever been. In some states, post adopts Kamala does not have any kids of her own. She has stepchildren. Big difference. Uh, no. Your problems are not pre uh, are, are not pressing. In fact, women do not have any problems. Women live life on sandbox mode. Even you, bitch. A mediocre-looking bitch like you could probably make money doing OnlyFans. Well, it's not a male, it's not a male only loneliness epidemic. Okay, what do you think is better? A woman to be in a, in a, in a relationship with a guy that actually loves her. Sure, he doesn't have the six pack. Sure, he's not six feet. And sure, he doesn't make six figures, but he loves her. Versus her being and knowing she's one of like four or five women this dude has seen. He doesn't give a fuck about her. Couldn't care less if she died tomorrow. But he's six. He's over six feet. He's got the six pack and makes over the, and makes the six figures. What do you think is better? My God, I'm actually defend. I'm actually arguing the feminist point. I think I don't know. Twitter said the male loneliness epidemic is simply accountability for men's misogyny. Oh my god, you guys have fucked the word misogyny so it means less than nothing anymore. If I asked any of you fucking dumb leftist feminist twats what misogyny means, you couldn't actually give me the definition. It is a male that hates females. That is what it means. Meaning, no man is a misogynist, except maybe a few hardcore gay dudes. Certainly, straight men cannot be misogynists. Because, you know, we would like to stick our dick in you. <laughs> Leave them alone and maybe they will learn. Misogyny is not making fun of women. Misogyny is not ma is not telling women where their views are fucked up. Misogyny is not telling women where they're fucking wrong. Especially not coming from a place of, hey, I want this person to be better, so I'm just giving the blunt truth. Women hate blunt truths. There was a female business owner, and she's like, my God, I never hire a, a woman again. I tell a guy where he's fucking up, and he just goes, okay, I'll do better. Thanks. She's like, to tell a woman the exact same thing, I got to give, I, I, it, it's an hour presentation. And she's buttered up 90% of the time. Is women just choosing not to interact with awful men? And the men crying that they are entitled to women's attention and affection. And no, no man is crying. Do you know? Actually, do you know who cries? What men cry uh, about attention to uh, about women's attention, affection, and their bodies? Do you know what men cry that they're not getting that? Male feminist bitch. Bodies and try to help them, and you realize like, oh. This person does not want to be helped, is not helpable, whether that's because there's really something sinister about them or they have serious moral failings or they're extremely negative. They have other mental issues that need to be dealt with. Or maybe they're just really 
Oh my god, it was a tweet. It meant nothing less than nothing. Trust me. I am more motivated right now to stay alive than ever before just because I want to see all you assholes melt down when Trump wins. Besides, I'm too fucking stubborn to ever give up a fight. Dense people. And in the meantime, women certainly should not be guilted into rescuing them. Which again, why are women doing the rescuing here in the first place? Okay? Like, I... Well... Because feminism has told men not to be heroic, not to be strong, not to save the damsel in distress. You fucking created this scenario, you dumb fucking con. I just constantly am being told that men are the natural leaders and protectors and the doers and society. Because we are! We are the leaders because we're ruled by logic. You're ruled by emotions. We're strong. You're now you're nowhere near our strength level. Not saying you're weak, but you're nowhere near us. There's a reason society has always had male leaders. Also, look at when women are put in charge. Star Wars. Untouchable money printing IP. Now it's in the toilet. Look at YouTube. Under Susan Wojcicki's reign. There's a reason women don't get put in charge. And it ain't methadonay. The wall they're referring to, my dear, is not, it is the fertility wall. And men are attracted to youth and fertility. Not all men, not all fucking men. There are some cougar chasers out there. But generally speaking, if a man is looking to start a family, he is looking for a younger woman who's fertile. Not dried up about as bad as a Sahara with three eggs left. therapy or taking it look i i have no i have no problem with people in fact i actually i take that back i think it's wonderful when people adopt children we need more people to adopt children but at the end of the day more most people prefer biological children over adopted children well marriage isn't a good deal for most men and again, 80% of the divorces are initiated by women. If you want to go with college-educated women, it's 90. Because women always are like, oh, the grass looks so greener on the other side. All this is... Jeff Bezos is arguably one of the most successful, the most successful man, men on the planet. His wife filed for divorce. Elon Musk. His wife filed for divorce. Or did he did he ever get married? Fuck it, whatever. The two richest guys on this fucking earth couldn't escape the divorce monster. Yeah, because if a woman wants companionship, all she's got to do is go into any bar wearing a dress, saying, who wants to fuck me and she will have companionship. But here's the thing. Once you get to about 35 and all the guys that are worth a fuck go, start going younger because you're outclassed, Then the loneliness epidemic hits women, and women do not do uh, do not do solitude anywhere near as well as men. Jesus fucking Christ! I'm only six minutes into this. Fuck. Then why is it that I have seen I don't know how many compilations of women crying on various platforms because they're lonely, or they're single moms? That's another can of worms. Marriage continues to benefit men more than women, and men suffer far more. 
Men, marriage benefits men. Sweetheart, whatever drugs you are on, I would like some. Women can't. They need somebody, to, oftentimes, though this is changing, but they need somebody to cook. They need somebody to clean. They need somebody. Men know how to cook. Men know how to clean. It's just, if I'm bringing in the money, well, your job is to cook and clean, bitch. Um. Well, you didn't have Instagram where some chick in Idaho can post pictures of herself and be out on a yacht in Dubai in three weeks. Just like the former plantation owners had to do, they have to actually learn to create value on their own merit in order to obtain quality companionship. And the stark reality is that a lot of them just don't want to do the work. I what work? What work specifically? Also, how are women changing to meet this modern new paradigm? Because again, it's not all men. It's not all on the man. Women have to change too. Again, what do you bring to the table? How are you benefiting me? Because if it's really just blowjobs, well, I can pay a woman a hundred bucks to do that. Oh my God, because we already know the reality. This is why fat acceptance is 100% female focused. Okay? Because men are told by society, you're a fat piece of shit. Men know society, men know no one is coming to save them because literally society tells men from a very young age, guess what? The world, reality, doesn't give a fuck about you. Save yourself. Whereas women, we coddle to a ridiculous degree and they always think Prince Charming's gonna come in and ride in on a white horse. Yeah, he'll do it from about the ages of 22 to 27. After that, you're old. He's on to the next crop. Victim mentality is like quickly replacing true masculinity. I'm going to keep repeating. Oh, God, I'd love to know what the fuck you think true masculinity is, you fucking... Oh, God. All right, I got to pee. I'll be right back. But if men are the leaders and the protectors and the doers, why aren't they doing something about their own problems? Because men are no longer allowed to be the leaders. We're constantly told by feminist twats like you, we need to sit down, shut the fuck up, and listen to dipshit female opinions like yours. If men's mental health mattered to men, they'd be creating safe spaces for themselves and each other. They'd be pursuing therapy and creating community. Instead, they... We can't create self safe spaces for one another. Ladies always invade for some time yeah uh how about the fact that women have invaded every single fucking one of the male spaces we don't even have the fucking boy scouts anymore you fucking cunt. just like if you're an adult and you break your arm you have to do what you need to do to get it fixed the same is true when it comes to men's mental health and the reality is not only are they not doing the thing wait you break your arm you need to do what you need to do to get it fixed that's cute Considering how many women look for a sugar daddy to fix their student loan problems. Oh my god, this fucking... Uh, no. Uh, men should not waste their time with therapy. Crack a beer, make yourself happy. Uh, no, I don't need a therapist. Do you know why? Because if I have a problem, I do one of three things. Either I, I accept it, meaning it is what it is. I'll ignore it, meaning it's not that big of a deal. Or I'm going to kill it, meaning I'm going to get rid of the problem. Those, you don't need fucking therapy for that. Phoenix, therapy for me would be impossible. I'd just rip the therapist apart and make her cry. Uh, 
men would male therapists have no chance. A man is not going to be vulnerable in front of an, another fucking man outside of maybe his dad or his grandpa. That that's fucking stupid. The only person that has a chance with a man with, with a man in therapy is a goddamn woman. That's oh god, yeah, you're fucking retarded. Men had Star Wars. Women invaded. Men had sci-fi. Women invaded. Men had video games. Women invaded. Men. Had well, true, 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 and true. And here's the and here's the weird thing. There was always ladies in Star Wars, but they respected the rules and the lore. Women were always in sci-fi too, but they had the rules and the lore. They had video game. They were in video games, but they actually played the fucking things. Women were in D and D groups, but they respected the lore. Women were into comics. If they wanted a boyfriend and they were into comics in any way, all they had to do was show up at a fucking comic book store. They'd walk out with their pick. Men only clubs. Yeah, they existed. And a bunch of fucking cunts like you, my dear who made this video, said, why, why can't we join? But a game that, like Assassin's Creed, for example, or Red Dead Redemption 2, or what the fuck, are primarily played by men. The only reason a man is accompanying you to your crystal attuning class is because he wants to fuck you. While he's there, the entire time, he's like, my God, this is the stupidest shit ever. Going to the theater and my husband actually wants to go? That's like crack to me. Like, that is so exciting. He, he... Yeah, the only reason he does that and my God, you have a husband? What beta simp bitch soy boy married your ug ugly ass? But no, he's doing that because he wants to fuck you. It's not about men's at all here. This is not about men's Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, back up, back up. Right, like these are loser activities. You're sitting in your basement and playing video games or watching sci-fi and you're mad that- These are loser activities. I'm watching, I'm, I'm, I'm in my basement playing video games. How about I'm trying to relax, you fucking cunt? Oh my God, what beta soy boy fucking bitch? Thought it was a good idea. Male feminist fucking cuck ass piece of crap. Thought it was a good idea to put a fucking ring on your goddamn finger. Think Any man who goes to a Taylor Swift concert, unless he was promised a threesome for doing it, his, his man card is immediately revoked. So says the Lord of Patriarchy. And I'll sure I'll get the other lords of testosterone to go with me. Things they're pointing to have happened. There have been some incidents where you have had, like, places that excluded women. There have been some lawsuits that have made that illegal. But it is not true that men cannot and do not still have spaces that are just for men. Most women are not. No, there are no spaces just for men. If there are dumb, stupid, little, ugly cunts like you, ugly little activist cunts like you, will invade. Nobody hates women. Uh, we don't like women like you who actually, you're acting more like a man. Uh, okay, uh, part of your thing as a woman is to be soft and submissive. Trying to fix their own problems. I have been writing and... Yeah, because... Men are all around you, but the problem is they don't meet your ridiculous requirements. And I'm going to be honest, you seem to be in shape, although I'm not getting a great angle of you. You have terrible tasting glasses. You have a shit haircut. You're about a six. You know that guy that changes your oil? Maybe date him!
where the f are all the men? Because you know where the women are? We're out there. We're putting ourselves out there because that's what we were always told we need to do in order to find someone. But then we went out there and you know who we met? Each other, which is fantastic, by the way. I love meeting single women out. But we didn't go out to meet each other. We went out to meet you and you were Well, fine. Great. Fuck your, fuck your female friends. I don't care. But again, you want a man so where you are right now the guy changing your oil is probably the guy for you weren't out there so y'all tell us where the fuck are single men because what we're not going to do anymore because all you fucking bitches want bruce wayne you know, why should a man, a man go to a singles event? He's just going to get rejected by 80% or to 90% of the women there. For one stupid reason or another. Because again, women are fucking incapable of running their lives. Gee, maybe, maybe society was better when men just ran everything. I don't know. Seems everything was better. Really, one of the best antidotes I've ever found in my life for loneliness, for suffering, for pain, is to stop focusing on yourself and to go focus on others, to go volunteer, to go give back. It's actually found in service. Uh, no. Uh, I was forced to do 15 hours of community service. At, and I had committed no fucking crime. It was mandatory by the state of Minnesota. soda that I had to do 15 hours of community service in order to graduate high school. And I am still fucking pissed off of it, about it, even though I lied about two thirds of it. Don't worry about me, I'm sure all those teachers are dead by now. I mean, what is this fucking bullshit? I don't fucking... I, I don't fucking do shit for free. You want me to work for you for 10 fucking hours? Motherfucker, pay me. You want my labor? You gotta pay. This, is a this fucking idea of community service is fucking horseshit. There's always this like underlying like instinct, I think, for women to come in and caretake and nurture and take care of people because I will argue till I'm blue in the face that women actually are the natural protectors in society. But then it really bothers Women are the natural protectors in society? Bitch, what are you smoking? I'd say you're the natural nurturers in society. I'll go along with that. But you ain't keeping the fucking barbarians at bay. Men are! And I think a lot of the male loneliness is actually brought on by a crisis in masculinity because men are instead being taught that they're victims. They're being coddled. They're being told to reject their problems on the other. Oh my God, fuck you! Really? We're just going to ignore all the times females are taught that they're fucking victims. Really? So when, you know, uh, somebody makes a video about paternity fraud. Oh, the, 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 the men's are just, they're just uh, victim blaming and blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, if you're going to let your fucking, and this is just my opinion, if you're going to let your fucking girlfriend go on a girls weekend or a girls week in Las Vegas and you take her back, you're a fucking simp. Or if your girlfriend cheats on you and you take her back, you're a fucking simp. And fuck it, I'll say it, women do need to be, at some point, controlled. Because they're idiots. Said, of helping to break it down, a lot of men, a lot of them, become very emotional and sensitive when others try to give them the tools they need to break themselves out of the prisons that men have created for themselves. Like, they literally- Like what? What, what are the prisons that, that men have created for themselves? 
you can give any examples? Because you haven't this entire video. Melt down when you mention toxic masculinity. And like, you're saying all men are toxic. No, we are saying that men have been also hurt by patriarchal norms and that they are continuing to suffer under them. Like how? This is why I always say uh, every single boy before he graduates high school should be in either an MMA fight, a kickboxing match, or a boxing match. Or hell, just a bare knuckle fight. Uh, this is where everything got fucked up. We need to start hitting our kids again. I have to play you this video of a man I saw on TikTok discussing that, that sort of like immediate knee-jerk reaction a lot of men have to criticisms of toxic masculinity because I thought he expressed this reaction that they have so wonderfully. And my question is, for men as collective, why do- Wait, that's not a man! Does it appear like you all are resistant to evolving the definition of what it means to be a man while simultaneously hating? Yeah, forgive me for uh, also wanting to bring up the utter epidemic of single motherhood in the black community. Oh, geez, probably her son's pissed off with her because she didn't stay with daddy. The long and the short of it is that men are not great at dealing with criticism, just can't handle it. The feelings get too big. Men aren't a, d aren't great at dealing with criticism. Men, men. Have you seen fucking women deal with criticism? You little beta soy boy tea drinking bitch! Just listen to what men ask for. I want a woman who isn't a nag. A woman who doesn't have any baggage. A woman who doesn't ask questions. She needs. No, what we ask for is soft-spoken, submissive, and feminine. And yes, many men would prefer not to, to have a woman that doesn't have a high fucking body count, or worse, a goddamn kid! Are there men that are willing to be a stepdad? Yes, of course there are. And I don't know the numbers, but a good chunk of men, myself included, the second I know she has a kid, with very rare exceptions, I'm out. Because I'm sorry, what you're arguing for right now, my ginger-haired fucking friend, is Captain Save-A-Ho. Save-A-Ho. That's another tenet, by the way, of masculinity. Also, not really giving a shit what women think about you or give a flying fuck about women's feelings when the, direct, the right call is to hurt a woman's feelings. I mean, look at my own life. I'm a fucking three. And I fuck nines. Why? I know how to cook. Those things. Believe that if you want. I don't care. Is it empathy? No room. Empathy is a lie. Room for questions. Because boys and men must be confident, direct, self-assured, and without doubt. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. We we gotta be the breadwinners. Blah blah blah. Is this the rest of the video? Cause I didn't get paid to react to this asshole. Again, as long as women only swipe left on 5% of men on Instagram or whatever fucking dating app they're using, the loneliness epidemic will continue. And you women created it. Because quite frankly, let's be honest, women are actually incapable of fucking leading their own lives. At least to a happy conclusion. For real masculinity to make a return in society. Our society's crumbling. You, I'm giving you real masculinity, you fucking cunt. They are ultimately the ones that are responsible for showing up in the world and forming connections and building meaningful lives. And yes, <laughs> on, I think women should on. care. Okay, and I would push back on some of the people earlier in this episode that say, screw all men, who cares, they brought it on themselves. Maybe some of them, but a lot of men are good men. A lot of men mean well, and a lot of men are struggling right now. And I want them to succeed, and I want them to get better messages, and I want them to have the encouragement that they need to do the work that will actually fix their lives. So we should care, absolutely. But we can't do the work for them.
All right, guys, I hope you liked this episode. Make sure you like oh, the video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, God. and if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. If you like this video, don't forget to check out others in my series, Histrionics, here, and you can watch my other weekly show, The Base Politics Show, here. Oh, hey guys, I'm here. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, and that's the whole fucking show. One video. Oh, my God. I I'm done. I can't I can't do another thing. I gonna I I I'm gonna I'm gonna be on Dave's cooking show in in a minute. Good just good night everybody. First thing we gotta do is have a little music in our lives. There is a hill at the bottom. All right, now we move on to things that sh the devil, I don't know, should have condemned. First thing we're going to do is look at Josh Weidenstein. He used to be one of the leading cooks, chefs, whatever on YouTube. But now doesn't even fucking cook. Average f ingredients you get at any other goddamn pizza shop. What in here is better? Like the pepperoni? Um, no. The flavor of both of these pizzas is like if a violinist was like, I'm. Oh, so now we have a white man, Becky, talking down and trying to educate a black man. I'm gonna play for an arena. And then they did Papa John's C tier moving on. We're at Jet's no, Pizza. I've never been here before, should, but I do think it's very should. funny on the boxes no, that they put no, so no, many words. No, I think no, 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 you little leftist fat. No, you should, you should always defer to the person of color because that's your fucking side. I think they did that because they. Josh, Little Caesars is. Good pizza for the fucking price. When I get Little Caesars, I know I'm getting shit. But it's cheap, it's edible, and it'll fill me up. Again, Little Caesars is good pizza for the price. The price being optimal. Hell, I will say Little Caesars is a step below the last targets that actually still have Pizza Hut in them. This is not their main business, technically, but it's Costco pizza. If we didn't include it, I feel like we'd get yelled at, to be honest with you. We've got cheese and pepperoni, the only two they offer, slow. starting with cheese. I'm Maya. I'm the head of post-production for the channel, and I don't usually get out of my... All right. At this point, I'm done. Don't really care. Try to do better tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. End the stream. I don't, I don't fucking care.